Hello everyone, Tom here again from SmartLine. So let's get right to it today. We're talking about Amazon, everyone's favorite internet juggernaut. For months now, everyone in the Cleveland area and around the country have been talking about the new distribution centers that are going to be coming to the Cleveland area. I have been getting tons of questions about you know, where are they going to be located, how many jobs are there going to be, and what's this going to do to the community. So I thought I would take some time and just try to answer some of the questions that I've been getting, and there have been a lot. First, where are these centers going to be? They are going to both be located on the east side of the Cleveland area. The first one is going to be in North Randall, which is a small southern city right near Bedford and Warrensville Heights area. Um, the second one is going to be located in the northern east side up in Euclid, right near the lake. The Euclid one is actually going to be located in the industrial corridor of the city, which is right near large companies such as Lincoln Electric and really close access to the freeway. Uh, each center is going to provide at least 2,000 jobs. Uh, some projections estimate there's going to be more. These distribution centers are going to be both on old mall sites, which have been eyesores for the community for a long time. Uh, the Euclid one just broke ground a couple months ago, and the North Randall one has actually made quite a bit of progress. Uh, the building is already up. They already have been doing a lot of work on the inside of it. So we're really thinking that they're going to be done uh, maybe by the end of 2018, most likely they're both going to be done around 2019. So what kind of warehouses are these going to be? Uh, so from some experts, they estimate that these jobs are going to be much higher skill, and these warehouses are going to need a lot more manpower than the traditional types of warehouses that we've seen in the past. These warehouses are going to be offering jobs at $15 an hour, which is much higher than the types of pay that you're going to see in retail markets or in fast food industries. These types of warehouse jobs actually give a higher boost to lower income, lower skill workers who have been in the area and might have been out of work for a couple different reasons in the past. Uh, so this is gonna really boost the types of people who might be looking to rent a property either in Euclid or in North Randall or maybe even in the surrounding communities. In some cities around the country who have gotten these distribution centers, they have seen their sales tax revenues go up by 35%. Uh, which is helping the cities build new parks or improve their infrastructure. By one estimate, uh, the e-commerce industry in the past 10 years has created 397,000 jobs in the United States alone, and that's compared to the 76,000 retail jobs that were lost in the past. So this is really helping kind of make up that gap in the economy we're seeing. One mayor in a town of California that got one of these distribution centers actually said, People who come to our jobs here are not just from our city, but from all throughout the region. And it increases our daytime population and in turn affect our businesses here, such as restaurants, retail, and commercial. He referred to this as the trickling effect. And that's what we're really hoping to see in this kind of area. You have to think, uh, for example, places like North Randall, the, actually the distribution center requires more jobs than there are people living within that city. So this will not only affect the city, but this will affect the surrounding communities. And people from the surrounding communities will come into places like North Randall or Euclid. They'll work during the day. They'll shop maybe on their lunch break or after work. They'll go out to you know, dinner or lunch, either after or during work. So it's really going to not just uh, affect the people living in that community, but the people around the community, as they will get to experience places like Euclid or North Randall that maybe they haven't experienced before in the past. Amazon has been exploding with these distribution centers. They now have a warehouse within 20 miles of half of the United States population, and that is a lot. Uh, we are really hoping that more jobs means more workers to fill those jobs, which means more people are going to want to live near their work, which means rental is going to rental prices are going to go up, demand is going to go up. Uh, so we're really hoping that this is going to start turning around real soon. Uh, we're going to start seeing the effects pretty quickly, maybe within the next year or so. Uh, as you can see in the Cleveland area, there are already tons of job postings for these Amazon positions. So things are really starting to ramp up here and we are excited. We cannot wait. Um, so that's it for this video. Like I said, I'm going to start posting more videos regarding all the questions that I've been getting on maybe some new topics uh, or new issues that have been going on in the Cleveland area to just address your questions, address your concerns, hopefully get some answers out there for you. So until next time, see you soon, investors.